Well, hi guys, welcome back to another What Sold Update video. You know, in these videos, I show you excerpts from older videos where I bought stuff, then I break in and I update you guys on what they sold for. It's usually pretty informative and we have some fun along the way too. Okay, well, let's get started. I was just walking down their glassware aisle when I saw this set of four vintage Anchor Hocking drinking glasses. Well, they were $4.99, and online they go for $20, so I took these. I don't usually buy a lot of Anchor Hocking stuff, but every once in a while I'll take a chance with them. Well, this one ended up selling for a little bit of a disappointing $15.95 plus $12.95 shipping. Now, I made a profit on it, but not as much as I thought. But I will still keep my eye out for Anchor Hocking because every once in a while, you'll find a piece that's worth a lot of money. I was just about getting ready to leave this store. Yeah, I was going to ride my painted ponies up to the cashier when I saw these two Bose mini speakers. They were $5.99 each. And I think online, I should be able to get $20 each for them. So I took both of them. Anytime I see Bose speakers, I always pick them up, and they always end up selling. Well, these didn't sell for as much as I thought, but I still got $25.95 for them, plus $10.95 shipping. So that was pretty good. You know, every once in a while you can find a pair of Bose speakers that can sell for hundreds, so keep your eyes out for them. Okay, now on to the next item. When I got to this row, it kind of had a mixture between Christmas stuff and just kind of like other stuff. Well, I saw this Disney stitch ornament. There was no price on it, but I ended up getting it for $2.99 and they go for $20. Next to it was another Disney ornament. I got this for $2.99 and this goes for around $20. Well, I took both. For those of you guys who don't know, I live in Florida. So I come across a whole bunch of Disney stuff. And it usually sells pretty fast and for pretty decent money. Well, these two ornaments were no exception. The stitch ornament ended up selling for $17.91. And the 60th anniversary ornament ended up selling for $23.95 plus shipping. So I did really, really well. Yeah, I love Disney stuff. He was just about getting ready to leave. When I saw this Philadelphia Eagles hooded jacket. Well, like I said, I don't usually buy clothes, but sometimes you have to. This was $9.99, and they go for around $30 online. Yeah, I have another item. I don't usually buy or sell a lot of clothes, but I do sell a lot of sports memorabilia. So when I saw that Philadelphia Eagles jacket, I knew I wanted it. It was $9.99, a little bit too high. But I still figured I could make money on it. It ended up selling for $25.95 plus $10.95 shipping. So I was pretty happy with that. I'm still not going to be a big clothes buyer, but you got to keep an open mind. Sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone and buy something that you normally wouldn't. This time it worked. Okay, now on to the next item. As soon as I got inside this store, I saw this animated singing and dancing Santa Claus. He sang Rock Around the Clock by Brenda Lee. They were asking $9.99 for him. And online they go for about $30. So me and Santa rocked and danced all the way home. That singing and dancing Santa ended up selling on Facebook Marketplace for $30 plus $9.25 shipping. Now the girl who bought it got in touch with me and said she absolutely loves it. It reminded her when she was young, her and her grandmother used to sing that song around Christmas time. Well, that's kind of what makes thrifting worthwhile. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Okay, well on to the next item. To start off on day two of this store, I saw this cat. Yeah, he was dressed like a turkey. I guess he's a Thanksgiving cat. Well, he was made by Lennox, so that was a good sign. Goodwill was asking six ninety nine for him, so I had my first item on day two. 
That Lennox cat was adorable. The minute I saw it, I knew it would sell. It was just a matter of how much it would sell for. Well, I bought it for $6.99, and it ended up selling for $30.95 plus $4.95 shipping. I was absolutely thrilled with that price, and it was very pretty. You know, if you guys could see it up close, it was even prettier. Okay, well, what's next? On these couple of shelves, they had put out some toys. Now, I had passed all these toys up before, but this one kind of caught my eye. So I looked it up. It was called Nemesis Factor. They wanted $3.99, and it goes for $20. That Nemesis Factor is like an old-fashioned Simon game. Remember where you have to pick the colors in the order that the machine flashes? Well, this is the new version for younger kids. It ended up selling for $19.95 plus $7.95 shipping. So not a bad markup. I was pretty happy with it. Okay, now on to the next item. We're getting towards the end. On this next row, I found a really nice item. It was this Mary and Baby Jesus figure. It was very well made and very well detailed. Well, it turns out that it was by Hummel. They only wanted $5.99 for it. And online, these go for over $50. Wow, nice piece. That Mary holding the baby Jesus figure was really well made. Remember, it was by Hummel, and they have a pretty good reputation for ceramics. Well, when I saw the price was only $5.99, I knew I had to have it. I put it in the cart, took it home, put it on eBay, and it ended up selling for $38.95 plus $9.95 shipping. Pretty nice markup. Yeah, it just, it just felt good. Okay, now on to the next item. Well, I strolled on over to this aisle where I saw this Bart Simpson treehouse. Goodwill was asking only $9.99 for it, and they went for $30 online. So Bart was going to join Snoopy and Woodstock right in my cart. Yeah, they'll become friends, I'm pretty sure. Back in the day, I wasn't a big fan of The Simpsons. I would catch a show from time to time, but I didn't think they were hilarious. Obviously, other people did, because their merchandise still goes for big money, or kind of big money, which is why I picked up the Bart Simpson Treehouse. It ended up selling for $28.95 plus $9.95 shipping. Now, well, if I see Simpson stuff out there, I'll still pick it up. Still don't think they were hilarious, though. Okay, now on to the last item. As soon as I walked inside, I saw something that I had made money on before. You see this bag? It says abducted by alien bees. Well, that name is very misleading. What this actually is, is a photo flash and strobe light for professional photographers. Well, they were only asking $12.99 for this, and they go for over 100 Thank you, witch doctor. I had bought one of those Alien Bees photo flashes before, and I paid $39.95 for it. So you could imagine how excited I was when I saw that this one was only $12.99. The last one sold for over $100. Well, I got it home, put it on eBay for $150, a couple of offers, lowball offers that I passed on, and then a guy offered me $99.95 for it. Plus shipping. I said, I'm not passing this up, and I took the offer. Wow, pretty nice, huh? Yeah, I wish all buys could be that easy. Well, they're not. But it's still fun, and that's why you go thrifting, hoping to find something like this. Okay, I know what you're waiting for. Fireworks! I love when they go off. Okay, guys, well, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, guys.